Two of his last three games have been 30-plus points. As you mentioned, first-time All-Star last season. That's what Toronto does really well. Best in the league right now at over 10 a game. And Shea is able to steal it right back. Trying to get around Barnes. Just kept it in the left hand and then puts it up for the first bucket of the game. It's tough to defend a team when they're moving. you got five guys on the floor that can start the fast break. And quickly, that is OG and an OB. How about that sling of a pass? 40 feet diagonal to a nice backdoor cut. There is Giddy and a nice way to beat that setup drop. You brought up something that is really important when you think about how to beat this Toronto defense. There's a steal by Ananobi, number one steal team in the NBA on defense, and it leads to Josh Giddy. A couple of players from last year's draft. Pokashevsky once again, he's going to go coast to coast, and this time he's going to put it down. Olongu caught it at the apex and put it down. And I love the pace that you're playing at. May have been a look, not necessarily a set piece, just a read in transition. Boy, Poku, who was so active in that game against Milwaukee. They're, they're the tops in the association in both. So the Raptors have taken 90 more shots. Nice back cut. Giddy got behind the defense. Happened a couple of times on plays like that for the Thunder. Van Vliet never afraid to shoot from downtown. Count to three for Fred Van, a draft classmate. Giddy sets it up, Poku! Right behind Colombo, caught it at the apex and put it down. Playing some of his best basketball. The skip pass over to Dort, got the flyby, and he's got three, number three, here in the first quarter. Yeah, thank you, Paris, and just so great to see the players going and showing their support, and we can't express the appreciation on the magnitude of their service enough. Shoot, rebound, block shots. The Raptors just continue to throw a ton of different looks at Shea, and this time he'll go to that little patent. Of this state, the people, and, and for me, it's that red color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share that with you a little bit later. Good job of forcing him to use up a lot of time, and here's he comes up with a almost comes up with the steal. Oh, and it leads to the Boucher alley oop. And so to all their families too that have made the sacrifice along with them. And right over the time now, Jim. There is just so much length, and it's not a problem this time as J Dub elevates and detonates. Seamless step up to the big league squad. Nice pass underneath Kenridge. And plus nine on the scoreboard. Opened it up a little bit with seven consecutive, but it's Banton coming back quickly with the three for Toronto. Delano Banton is taking the offense initiative, and speaking of taking the initiative, it's Josh Giddy right to the rim. Oh, Thunder doing a good job once again poking holes in that defense. There's no shot blocker on the floor. Oh, and man, swats it away, and he'll take it up and suck for the scoop. He had made his first three shots of the game. Prior to that miss, Van Fleet. Quick release, offensive rebound, and Boucher uncontested inside. And a third opportunity here for OKC as the ball swings down to Williams. The cut by Wiggins is he will finger roll it right in. Just moving the basketball, kind of like playing hot potato. It's not really staying in anybody's hands for very long. That was multiple offensive rebounds as Van State, he's an Aztec. And the other Aztec in the building, guess what? It's yours truly. How about this, man? This guy, you know, at seven feet. need to, to dribble the basketball. He was not strong with the basketball when he first came into the league. Oftentimes, time taken away. The Thunder with a strong possession set up by the drive. And he's got an 11 to 4 fast break advantage to the best fast breaking team in the league. And that's 36 points now in the paint. Where he comes up, sets the screen out on the perimeter, and then dives right to the rim. It is something that he is comfortable with, but how about Ananobi taking off in the slam? And he attracted a lot of attention and still made a tough shot. He was a little surprised that he had space to get that shot off, and off the miss, it's Boucher again with a jam, and he is. As Dort has to kick it cross court, it's Giddy. Finds another cut, it's Wiggins. Collects and gets fouled. The efficiency 67 percent near steal by Wiggins Van Vliet has the feet set high arcing three and he finds
finds the bottom of the net. Fred Van Vliet. Kitty trying to get a running start. Tough drive, but he got it up over Boucher, who's a good shot blocker. That means defensively maintaining physicality. The Raptors will try to bully the Thunder because they're a young team, but the Thunder's going to work to throw that first punch here in the second half, guys. And Pokashevsky on the first shot gets fouled on the three. Thunder have gone to the well on that baseline, sort of backdoor cut quite a bit as Barnes spins into the short shot, and it's good. Basket. Thunder will be able to get quickly out there. How about that pass here? Come on. That's this groundhog. Another. The anticipation, the vision, and now trying to body up Barnes, but just oh. two. See Shea trying to size up the defense. Finds a little space. Pokashevsky follows the. Van Vliet negotiating. This time dumps it off. And Anobi will throw it down. And Poku is lucky he didn't get a foul call. He would. Once they adjusted to that Toronto defense after the early flurry turnovers. Been able to find a ton of open shots just like this and a layup line three for Giddy drops in. And that's a tough three because he was standing over there completely alone. And allowed the Thunder to grab that basketball. Dork drives. He's going to get fouled by Porter. Counted. Mechanical way of breaking down that Toronto defense. Very aggressive defense. As Shea somehow chisels his way right to the cup for the left-handed scoop. As Dort passes against the three outside, it's Omarui. And he knocks down his third three of the night. You know the key to that play, too, is, is that Lou Dort put on the brakes. So that he couldn't to avoid the charge. And I think that's why Ernon goes. Quarters. You got to give up something. Van Vliet looking for his shot, still can't find it. Offensive rebound, and Ananobi's going to put it down. He's having a breakout year offensively. As Shea once again breaks down the defense, Trey Mann's going to find himself wide open for three, and he takes advantage. Shooter. 10-3 on the night, and a steal. This is going to lead out to Shea for the easy dunk. The Raptors with numbers. It'll be an easy foul on Pokashevsky. Porter still gets it up, banks it in, plus the foul. Pressure the basketball well beyond the perimeter. Almost got the steal. Jadup got it by. Sets it up. Kenrich Williams flushes it down. And plays like that. That's a beautiful give and go. Wiggins gave it right back to Jadup. Right, Barnes. You see his versatility on display. Banton off the backboard, follows his miss, and taps it in. Boy. Yeah. Here he is, little stutter step. Oh, what a move. Got right at bang. And the rookie showing some skill. Never staying in one place very long. Wiggins able to save it, but right to Ben. Now it's Boucher, and he'll lay it in. They have really clamped down and done some good things against this Toronto team coming in here with a 7-5, 7-5 record. See the defense collapse on j and it leads to a wide open three from Trey Mann who drills it from the outside. And their hustle out here has been really fabulous. They're just not giving up. And, and right now, you know, they're, they're just piling it on. Brent's Day, basically Canada's version of Veterans Day. And rightfully so. Another Toronto turnover. Creates the odd man rush. Jada not to be slowed down as he elevates for the jam. The, the Raptors are sitting on eight. They average about 22 and a half. So they haven't got into their strength tonight. And Omarui is going to tack one on for good men. But also what they look like on paper. They're good defensively. Six defensive rating. And, you know, they're one of those teams that can get it going from the three-point line. Malachi Flynn, he can shoot it and does so there. With your leading score is, all, you know, almost your leading score at 19 points. On the Rui, Shea has 20. He makes this shot. He will be the lead. 56%. And we'll head on the road with a very quality win here tonight at home against a quality opponent.